Hey everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing and giving my review of the Beitong Asura 2 Pro Plus. It's an affordable gaming controller that promises to enhance your gaming experience without breaking the bank. It comes in three colors and I'll be reviewing the white one here. So let's get into it. So we'll start with the unboxing. The Asura 2 Pro Plus comes in this nice clean packaging. It comes in a plastic bag with some protection around the joystick so they don't get damaged during shipping. Inside is the controller itself. It comes with a USB cable and a wireless dongle and a startup guide. It's light in hand but doesn't feel cheap. It has Hall Effect joysticks meaning there's no joystick drift and the movement feels clean. The trigger and shoulder buttons feel pretty standard, but the face buttons are mechanical and have a nice satisfying click. The back buttons also have a nice tactile feel with a satisfying click. Overall, the construction feels high quality. Nice little built-in slot for the Wi-Fi dongle as well. The plastic feels high quality and on the back side of the controller, they've added a textured pattern to create more grip. It's pretty comfortable in hand and it's comfortable for long gaming sessions as I've tested. The design is basically an Xbox controller with a few slight differences, but yeah, it's the Xbox controller with the offset joysticks and a traditional upright down left D-pad. The joysticks are not interchangeable or removable on this model. They are fixed to the controller. To connect it to a Windows PC, you can use the included wireless dongle. It is recognized immediately and works plug and play, or you can use a USB connection the USB port is right on top of the controller as shown here. It also works as a Bluetooth controller, which I tried on my Lenovo Legion Go as you can see here. It's also compatible with the Nintendo Switch, Android or iPhone, and I guess Tesla's too. The controller is recognized as an Xbox controller and it works just like one. I was able to plug it in and start playing Warzone without any issues. However, there is a control app from Beitong available from their website and the link is down below in the video description. With this app, you can customize the controller's functions and features to your liking. For me, I usually don't get too detailed with customization, but I do prefer zero dead zone on my sticks and I usually turn off controller vibration. You can also customize the RGB ring and set custom macros. The application is very in-depth and I was surprised by its quality and features. I was able to map my back paddle buttons to slide cancel in Warzone pretty easily. So here's some footage of me testing the controller on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. As you can see, it performs well. The experience was smooth and enjoyable. The Hall Effect joysticks feel light and responsive in hand. I used to have an Xbox and I prefer their controller shape over a PlayStation controller. So this one felt very natural to me. If you're an Xbox controller fan, you'll feel right at home with this one. In terms of battery life, it has a 600 milliamp hour battery and I tested it for a few hours without any interruptions. Moving on from COD, I tested it on Cyberpunk 2077 and as expected, it performed very well and was comfortable to use. Whether I was driving or walking around or in a combat situation, this controller was capable of providing a good experience and I was very impressed by its performance. Lastly, I connected it via Bluetooth to my Lenovo Legion Go and played some NBA 2K. Again, there was no input latency, even on Bluetooth, and the controller felt very nice and responsive. The mechanical face buttons are also kind of satisfying to use because they have a tactile click at full press, as opposed to like that normal mushy button feel we have with traditional controllers. So final thoughts, it's priced in the same range as a standard Xbox wireless controller, but I think it offers some advantages that make it a more worthwhile buy if you're looking for features. It has a dedicated wireless dongle versus only Bluetooth wireless connection. It has Hall Effect joysticks rather than mechanical joysticks, which will degrade and develop stick drift after prolonged use. It has back pedal buttons and the customization app is more in depth than the standard Xbox app. Also, it has a rechargeable battery as opposed to requiring AA battery batteries. At nearly the same price, I think these features make the Asura 2 Pro Plus a great buy over a standard Xbox wireless controller. It delivers great performance and comfort without costing a fortune. And if you're interested, I've included a link in the description below. And that's it for this review. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.